Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I'm here with a Bronco. So I'm out in Buena Vista, or as the locals call it, Buna, for one reason or another. And there's a Bronco event going on. And here is the new Bronco. It's a two-door, it's a Badlands. So I was able to get out here a little earlier uh, before the crowds arrived and they let me have some time with it. So these are gonna be kind of my initial thoughts and hopefully get some interaction from you guys in the comments below because I wanna hear what you think about the new Bronco if you're stoked on it. Um, I am, actually I pre-ordered one, a Badlands and this is a Badlands as well. So we're gonna just take a closer look. But this is it, Badlands edition does have a, looks like a steel, steel bumper with a winch on the front. There's the headlights and the grill. Looks like it does have like some limb risers going on. Some ditch light mounts that I guess are just integrated into the mirror. Then we got a bar up top, a roof rack on here, some traction boards, shovel, roto packs, ARB jack. This guy's ready. This guy's ready to do some overlanding. Uh, they're getting me the specs on it right now. I don't believe it has the Sasquatch package because these aren't 35s on here. But we do have some sliders. There's some rock rails on here. And I'll just kind of talk about the exterior first before we get in. We got the rear door. Tail lights look good. The bumper underneath here and the spare is full size spare for these. I'm wondering if we can fit a 35 on this guy. And it's got a gas strut piston in the door. Fire extinguisher here. Looks like this is a fold down like camping table. So that's pretty cool. We got a bunch of stuff bolted in back here. And this is obviously a media a media Bronco, so they have it set up for being at shows and events and stuff like that. So here's with the back seats folded down. And again, this is with the two door. So it looks like we got a bunch of tie down points in the back, which is nice. And they got a bunch of stuff back here. And that rear window just pops up just like that. I think there's an option to like pull out a little tailgate thing, but I don't think this one has it equipped maybe. And then here we got the interior. Kind of looks like a, like a fiberglass weave type thing in here. I don't think we're gonna take the tops off or anything right now just because it's snowing out. All right, here's the fender flares which I've read are removable. Yeah, actually there's like a little QD removable thing. I don't know if you can see it up under there. Well, that's nice. Let's check out what's going on underneath here. So this one is equipped with the tube doors on here. This looks like you pull that to get these babies open. Do have clearance for the mirrors. And I feel bad I'm getting all this snow in here. Sorry guys. I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat and see what it feels like. Okay, so here we are. Feels good, visibility. It's not bad over the hood. Mirrors have good visibility. Nice visibility out the rear as well. So we have grab handles aplenty going on all through here. There's one, and I know a lot of these things are modular and removable as well. So that's interesting. Ooh, this is the 
the six speed, really seven speed with the special crawl mode. And then we got the four wheel drive selector here. And nice little, nice little stamp there. Engine stop start. Nice looking vents. Pretty good size screen, nothing crazy. And then we got a couple buttons up here for, looks like that's electronic sway bar disconnect, front locker, rear locker, traction off, and then hazard triangle. It looks like we're outfitted with some auxiliary switches as well. Six of those up there, which is nice. Other than that, we got a little slot to put cell phone or whatever, some cup holders over here. Deep center console with some power in there. These are where the windows are, kind of like a Wrangler, and then this is the, looks like the mirror adjustment. Glove box with the winch controller. Yeah, this is all kind of like soft touch. And then here's the interesting like modular rail they got going on up here. So it's really like a, like a Picatinny rail, like you'd see on an AR-15 or something that's up here and you can attach mounts to it. And if it is true Picatinny size, which eyeballing it, it looks pretty close. I'm guessing Picatinny attachments can work on it. So we have GoPro mounts and a phone holder and stuff up here. So that's a nice, really long rail. You can put a lot of accessories and they have a GoPro up here actually already, the GoPro Max. So we have visors, pop down, plasticky. So these are the seats when they are up yeah. in the two door. And then how do you take them back down? This just slide that forward. Slide that forward. Okay, and then that that just drops right down. I'm guessing you pull that. Yeah. Pull that out. Perfect. Yeah. Your head rest. Cool. Yeah, depending on where this seat is. Yeah. Cool. And then we got the seat back panel here. Yeah, with all, all with that. some Molly type organization here that you can strap stuff into. And the little pouch down here as well. Yeah. Cool. And then these are all, those are the little openings that you can, like the drain holes down there looks like. Yep. So we got drain holes in the floorboards. So when you want to just spray this thing out, the water can just drop right on through there. Nice. So steering wheel is nice. This is obviously a prototype Bronco. So some things, may change but it looks pretty looks pretty production ready i think and here's your headlight switches headroom in here seems pretty good i'm 510 have quite a bit of room above me seats are adjustable on the side and yeah some more cubby space up here with USB and a USB-C it looks like, nice. And then so this front section is separate from the back section. So you just rotate these guys 90 degrees to get them out of the way and then pop these two clamps off in the corner. And then you have a handful of them in the back as well. So once you undo those, then the top can just lift right off pretty panels, much. Panels will lift out. Yeah, so that's how you can do that. And then the back is separate, but some similar mechanisms. Looks like this has its own little like moon roof thing that you can remove. Is that Yeah. true? Okay, Yeah. cool. So there's like a separate inner portion of the back panel that is like a moon roof kind of thing that you can remove separately. So if you don't want to take the whole top off, you can just take that, that moon, moon roof section off. Nice. And so it looks like the roll bars are essentially up here and then over the back seat. So we don't have anything in the middle. So we have a full open middle section. And then for the back seats, we got a couple cup holders and cubby cup holders on each side. 
So yeah, since this is a pre-production model, they said probably don't open the hood because some things might change under there. But this is it. I've been told that a lot of these are options you can kind of get from factory. They're kind of a bunch of Ford performance pieces. Uh, and yeah, so these are, the tires are only 285-70 R17. So this doesn't actually have the Sasquatch package. So it's not, not quite as big and burly. This is in black. Got some nice little stickers on the back here. And yeah, it's just a, it's a beautiful little rig. So I believe this stuff is, yeah, Yakima racks up top. All right, we're rolling actually. Here we are, a little test drive in the Bronco. Don't know if we'll be allowed to do any donuts though this time around, but maybe next time. Perfect. So that's the Bronco. Sorry if I'm a little out of it. Uh, you'll be seeing soon in some videos. I was out in Telluride for the last three or four days and I'll talk about it in the video, but my drive from Telluride to Buena Vista was supposed to be about three, three and a half hours and it took nine hours. So I'm running on very low sleep and a little groggy, but beautiful day, kind of, if you like snow. So definitely comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the Bronco. I'm interested to hear them. Oh, hey, we got a bonus actually. So we also have the Bronco Sport here. So this is the, I'm guessing most of you know, the little better fuel economy, stuff like that, but still looks pretty good for a little cute ute, I think the people are calling them. Maybe Bronco wouldn't like them to refer to this one as a cute ute because it's actually pretty good looking. So it kind of has some family grill characteristics and styling. It's a pretty small SUV overall. This one's got a light bar up top as well. Yakima rack, some accessories. Take a quick peek on the inside here. We got two bikes in the back. I'll show you that in a second. Nice steering wheel. Yeah, some kind of styling cues that carry over from the, from the full size Bronco. And so these seats fold down like that. And let's hop in the back here. So we do have two buttons back here for the glass or the door. So let's see, push that, open the glass. So if you need to reach in and grab something. Looks like we got some nice little like grocery bag hook things back here. It's pretty cool. On both sides, we got a AC outlet, 400 watt, another 12 volt back here. A bunch of tie down points, which I really, really like. Looks like there's a, okay, interesting. So this is a little piece that goes back here that uses the tie down strap so it's removable. And you can do your fork mounts back here. So room for two, two of these full suspension bikes back here. I'm not really sure what they're 
specs are, but there looks like they're at least 150 mil travel forks that are fitting. So it's pretty neat. Kind of a plastic cargo area. The seats fold, looks like not quite to flat, but pretty close. Nice, cool. So that was a just a real quick overview of the Bronco Sport. I mean, it's not bad, not bad. I'd choose the real Bronco, obviously, but for those that want this, another option out there. Hey guys, so I'm back home now, obviously, still sleep deprived, still disheveled, but I wanted to get this video out real quick because that event that I was just at is still going on until Saturday if you're watching this video right away. So if you're near enough to Buna or Buena Vista and you wanna go see the new Bronco or the Bronco Sport, you can. It's open to public. I put some little notes earlier, but if you wanna check it out, go check it out. It's an enthusiast event, so there's a bunch of old early Broncos there as well, which is cool if you're into that. So check that out. I wanted to say thanks to the Bronco team as well. Uh, some of them came out after uh, and I was able to talk to some of the Ford people and just pick their brains for an hour or two and they answered like all the questions I had about testing and this and that and suspension and so it was really informative and eye-opening and a really good experience for me to get some more information. But I do wanna hear from you guys too because I, I really like the Bronco. Like I said in the video, I pre-ordered one, but I wanna hear about you. Are, are you stoked on it? Do you want the two-door? Do you want the four-door? Which edition, which package, which color? Uh, because I'm, I'm always curious about that kind of stuff. Also, as I mentioned in the video, I did a Telluride trip this weekend, was awesome, super fun. So I'll do videos on that, I still have my camera gear video. There's a bunch of videos I have in queue that I just need time to edit and upload. So get subscribed, hit that subscribe button, notification icon, all that stuff. Uh, I'll probably be doing more Bronco stuff in the future at, at some point. So if you're into that, get subscribed for that as well. And yeah, until next time guys, take care.